Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a quick get ready with me. Um, I have some other videos that I want to film, so I thought I might as well film me getting ready to film those videos. <laughs> um, yeah, I just came in from outside. It's still winter here. It's not fun, so my face is all blotchy, but anyway, we'll just get started because uh, I'm probably going to be at this for the next couple of hours. So I'm going in first with my usual coconut skin smoothie primer. I don't know if I'll mention every product I use, but I always list them down below. So if you're wondering about anything. Um, but I guess I have some updates for the two people <laughs> that watch my videos. Um, yeah, if you're wondering where I've been, because I was really consistent for a while and putting out like two to three videos a week and then I kind of slowed down. Well, funny story, kind of. Um, I was doing really well with my consistency um, with YouTube and my workouts and my meal planning and everything and I was doing a program um, that I had to... Do I want to use this with the sponge? I guess so. Um, yeah, I was doing a workout program and I completed it and I did every single day. I didn't skip any days and I was seeing good results and then like that weekend after I finished the program I slipped and fell on the ice in my own parking lot <laughs> and I busted my knee and it was really scary because it looked really bad. I think it looked a lot worse than it actually was because it ended up like swelling up in like three places and I was like, oh my god, I won't be able to walk. I have to go to the hospital. But it wasn't that bad. It just looked really bad. But it actually did hurt for like a long time. Like it just stopped hurting like the middle of last week, I'd say. So obviously I didn't want to do anything strenuous. And my workouts are like full body workouts, so there's like a lot of squats and jumping involved. And I was like, there's no way I can do this. So, while I was super motivated, I kind of just stopped doing everything. And with me, it's like, if I stop one thing, I like stop everything. I guess I'm like all or nothing in that sense, which isn't the best thing, but yeah. So anyway, I, I'm trying to get back on track and today is a Monday, so it's a good day to start and I'm hoping I have some videos to put out. I have lots of ideas, um, I just have to get around to doing them and finding the time. I just put on um, my Makeup Forever water blend, um, which is why like, it didn't really cover my redness because it's a very sheer foundation, especially when you use a sponge. And by the way, I don't think I mentioned this sponge yet on my channel, did I? But um, I had this for a long time, like in the package still, because I was still using my old sponge. but. Now I'm using this one. This is the Sony Kashuk sponge and as you can see it's ginormous. <laughs> and I actually don't know if I like it. It's very soft and like pouncy but it's just like so big. And if you hold it like this it's just like floppy. I don't know. But I do like the flat edge for like buffing in foundation quickly. But yeah, in case you were wondering what this giant thing is, 
Um, so I will have to put some concealer on too, just for those extra red spots. It's better. So I do have some new products. I'm going to use one of them today, but you'll see the other ones in my haul video. Which might go up before this, I'm not sure, so maybe you've already seen them, but yeah, you remember how I said I was saving money not buying makeup? Well, <laughs> that didn't work out so well. There's just too many good things. And there was some sales as well. So yeah, I kind of broke my low buy. Um, what else? I'm not really talking that much, am I? Um, you guys seem to like my Back to Basics series, which I am happy about. Because I feel like there's not enough of those kind of videos on YouTube. Like, even the ones by, like, the big YouTubers. Um, I find, I don't know, they're still, like, they go super fast and they assume, like, you know, everything. Like, because you watch their videos, I guess. But some people just don't know, like, really basic things. And not because they're not like good at it or anything, just because they don't um, wear a lot of makeup and, or they do like the same thing every day because they're just like going to work or whatever, like a nine to five. You're not gonna wear like full YouTube makeup normally. Um, so yeah, I was happy to do those videos. Um, I was thinking of doing one about brows also, but the more like in depth because as you guys know if you watch my other videos, I only use like one product on my brows and it's like five seconds, but sometimes I actually do like to define them more and um, I do use um, some other products when I do that. So let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. So today I wanted to try this out again. This is the Kaja, Kaja, whatever, um, stamp blush or something. What was it called? I already forgot. Does it say? Meme box? No, that's not it. It actually doesn't say the name of the product, but I'll list it below. But it's the one with the stamp. Um, so you take the stamp out and then you use the product in like a cushion here. Because um, I only used it that one time for that... Um, what was it? Like a testing new makeup video? So I want to try it again. That's why I'm going in with this first because you don't want to powder, uh, put any powder products on before putting this on because it's a cream product and it might not work that well. I don't know how well it's working with that Makeup Forever foundation. It's not blending like as well as it did the first time I used it. So I don't know if it's that I put too much maybe. I do like the color though. Maybe I should get some more. I kind of like have to punch yourself with this though. I don't have a cream bronzer. This could have been like an all cream look. But yeah, I, I have a cream contour, but I don't feel like getting it. <laughs> So 
So I think I'll just use what I have here, which is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'll use this dual fiber brush. I'm just ready for it to be spring. And that doesn't seem to be happening over here. I mean, it technically is spring since the first day of spring was the 20th, I think, or the 21st. But it doesn't look like it. It just snowed on the weekend. It did melt like pretty quickly, but it's still like too cold to wear like a jean jacket or something more spring like, which is annoying. I need to put lip balm on. I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow and I will use a primer because, like I said, I'm gonna film some other videos hopefully. Um, and I don't want my eyeshadow to crease because I'm using a new palette and I don't know how it performs. So the palette I'm using is this Beach Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. I actually got this quite a while ago, but I never mentioned it yet and I haven't used it yet. I got this for 10 bucks at Winners. If you're not in Canada, it's the same as TJ Maxx. Um, yeah, I don't know why it was there because it's still available on the BH Cosmetics website and I think at Ulta, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, so these are the colors. They look super fun. I think this came out for holidays. I don't remember. But yeah, there's 20 eyeshadows in here. Um, and it says featuring a luxe range of rich neutrals, precious gemstones, and vibrant metal shades in buttery matte and lustrous shimmer finishes. Each pigment infused shadow delivers vivid color payoff and superior blendability to create stunning eye looks fit for royalty. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, what should I do though? I'm not going to do anything too crazy because I don't have a lot of time to experiment. Um, but I'm going to go in as I usually do with this cream shade here. That's a matte shade. It's called Rain. Like R-E-I-G-N. You know, like a rain. The reason I picked this up, well, first because it was pretty cheap for 20 shadows but also because if you guys saw my love signs video the beach cosmetics love signs palette i was really impressed with that palette um so i wanted to try other things from beach cosmetics and in canada we don't have BH Cosmetics in store, so when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's fun. Because I'm sure it's, like, not good to ship here. I actually don't really know, so maybe I shouldn't say that. Because I haven't really checked. But I think it's one of those websites where the prices are in U.S. <coughs> um... So, like, usually those, you don't really save anything because of the conversion. Because the Canadian dollar sucks, as usual. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And then for my transition, I'm going to go in with the shade here, Primrose. It's kind of like beigey peach. I'm going to try doing something more spring-like 
just to trick my brain into thinking that it's nice outside. Plus I'm really into like spring colors this year. Um, yeah, they're like pastels, bright colors. I mean, I guess they always are every year, <laughs> but yeah. Basically, it's not as vampy shades as it was in fall and winter. I like this color so far. I'm gonna go in with the shade Lady. This one here, it's pink. I think it's like a satin finish. Cause, well, it looks matte, but So there was uh, no more space on my memory card. And now the lighting is completely different, I feel. But anyway, I was going to go in with the shade Lady, this one here. I think I'm going to put it all over the lid and in the crease. It's like a corally pink shade, which I really like right now for eyeshadow. I forgot to powder under my eyes today, but I realized with that concealer that I'm trying to use up because I don't like it. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had a coughing attack. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I find when I put a lot of powder on the top of that concealer it makes my eyes my under eyes look really crepey and like accentuates my wrinkles so <laughs> yeah I don't really like it anymore for that purpose I don't know it's just a really finicky concealer like one day it looks really nice and the next day it looks horrible. I think it really like depends what um, base you put it over. Cause it's more like a watery consistency. But yeah. I really like this shade also. And so far, there's like no patchiness um, and like no fallout and I'm going on like pretty messily. But yeah, so far so good for 10 bucks. And some of the colors in here are really unique. Like this <coughs> khaki shade, um, this mustardy orangey brown shade i mean not not that they're unique i guess but for like affordable drugstore makeup they are um and they're really good they perform really well i'm gonna try one of the shimmer shades because these are different from the shimmers that are in the love signs palette because those are like the baked formula and these are just like pressed shadows so I'm going to use this is gonna be a weird look but I, I really want to try this high tea shade um, yeah I think I should change my brush to something flat this kind of brush these shadows are very creamy. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you see? I think with like Fix Plus or something, these would be really intense. But I like kind of like this wash of shimmer over the pink. So. 
think I'll just do that for today. But yeah, you can see like where I put my brush, how it's like a creamy shadow. You can see like where it's not like chunky anymore. I don't know how else to describe that, but usually that's the kind of shimmers I like because it means that they're going to go on the eye really smoothly and they're gonna stick there and not like fly around everywhere. And I think for the under eye, I don't know if I wanna go in with the pink cause it might like look more like pink eye on me, but I will go back in with the shade Primrose. It's like peachy shade on a smaller fluffy brush. This one will do. I do have some fallout from the shimmer shade, but like nothing crazy. I'm just kind of bringing that up in the crease just to blend everything together. I don't know if you can even see this really well. I have to get a ring light, I've decided. They're just so expensive, but it's an investment in my channel, I suppose. Um, I hope it makes a difference when I do get one. But everyone I've seen that has a ring light, um, it's like a huge difference that they have. I'm just worried like the way my room is set up, if it'll work the same. I'll have to figure that out, I guess. But I really like this. Yeah. I think BH Cosmetics are like the best affordable eyeshadow formula. Like they're cheaper than even like L'Oreal or Maybelline, at least in Canada. Um, so yeah, I would definitely try these. And I got my other palette at Urban Outfitters. And like I said, this one at Winners, so I guess like if you're in Canada, you'll have to like, you know, search around a bit to actually find it, but yeah, you can always get it on the website too. Um, what else do I want to do? I'm just going to brush away some fallout that I see. I mean, that's the only downside of not powdering under my eye because now I don't have that powder to like flick the shimmer away, but it's not that bad anyway. Yeah. Um, so I've been using a new mascara. Well, it's not new, but I only just opened it. The Milk Kush mascara. First of all, this is like really heavy. It feels like a weapon. <laughs> I'm still not sure if I love it because one day that I wore it, it was smudged everywhere, like underneath my eyes. Um, but then the next time I wore it, it didn't smudge at all. And I went outside and like the wind and my eyes were watering and everything. So I have no idea why that happened but I'm gonna use this today and the brush is like huge so you have to be careful um, when you're putting it on I feel like it gets a bit clumpy if you keep going over the same spots but I also just opened it so it's still like you know kind of liquidy I think I like mascara better when it's old. Because that way you get more definition. Because there's not so much product like built up on the brush. If you know what I mean. I think that's good enough. I mean it does like give a lot of length and volume. Yeah. I'll just have to see how it wears. And I'll just do my brows 
off camera because it's boring and you guys know it's my hourglass vault what is it called <laughs> i probably should know the name of it my um brow volumizing fiber gel which i think i need a new one of but i kind of want to try the milk makeup one that's in the kush line so like the mascara I heard it's pretty good. There's the brows looking pretty crazy <laughs> and fluffy. Um, highlight. I did have a cream highlight, which I could use because I didn't put powder under my eye. So I'll use this. This is MAC, um, what are these called? Cream Color Base. This is the shade Iced Up. I think I'm just gonna use my sponge. I'm just like really into putting cream on my face. I think because it's so dry um, <laughs> that I just prefer creams. But I don't actually own that many cream products. I've been trying to buy the Hourglass Illum Sheer Trio or whatever it's called. Um, but it's been sold out for like a year. I don't know what's going on. I feel like it comes back in stock for a day and then it's out of stock again. And I blame Samantha MUA. <laughs> uh, because she always raves about it. Uh, but I really want that product. It's also super expensive though. Also, I need to stop buying new makeup. Can that be a thing? I think I have a new rule that I'm only going to buy any more makeup when it's the VIB sale. Um, which I think is like next month. So no new makeup until then. I think I really like this. Yeah. I should use this more often. Um, lips. I didn't even take anything out here with me. Um, but I do have this lip gloss that I've been trying to use up. I actually have another video idea. It's to do a project pan. If you don't know what that is, um, it's probably good. It means you don't have too much makeup. But, um, it's like a thing on YouTube where people try and use up their full products until they see pan. So, I mean, technically that's more like with powder, but you can also pan like lip gloss and stuff. So, um, I actually have like a list of products I'm trying to pan because I meant to do that video in January, but I never got around to it. But let me know if you want to see, um, something like that but this was the lip gloss I chose it's a baby one so it should be easy to finish up and it's pretty old so I have to get it out of my collection it's the Marc Jacobs um, enamored high shine glass in pretty thing <clears throat> this used to be in my purse I should probably put it back uh, so I can use it. I actually love this gloss. Uh, I love all the Marc Jacobs glosses, like not just this shade, but the formula is so good. It's not like sticky and it's still pigmented and it's like minty, but not like it doesn't burn your lips. I feel like I forgot to do something. I don't know. If I remember, you'll see it in another video. Um, but I think that's it for now because I need to have some space on my memory card. Sorry I didn't do my hair or anything. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it. Well, I guess I'll try and do something with it. But yeah, it's just in a braid bun right now. So yeah, that's it for this video. I don't know. I didn't really talk much except for those few updates but 
yeah i hope you liked this video anyway and uh if you did give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on my next video bye